The biggest change between Pixelmator and Pixelmator Pro is the single window interface here in Pixelmator Pro. Pixelmator is built around palettes that can be shown or hidden and rearranged. Everything from layers, tools, styles, brushes, and more has a palette. In Pixelmator Pro, only a couple of tools and the color picker can be used as a palette. In this single window, we have the canvas here in the center, which is where the image exists, layers over to the left, tools to the right, and a toolbar here across the top. Let's start in the toolbar. On the left, we have a Show Hide drop-down menu. The first three options here pertain to layers. We can hide the layers list altogether. Show layers as thumbnails or show them as a list. Viewing layers as thumbnails will give you some more room for the image, but switching to list view displays the name of the layer along with lock and a show hide button for the layer. You can also reduce the width of this by dragging between the layers list and canvas. Also from here in the show hide button, we can view rulers, a grid, and guides. With rulers displayed and guides turned on, click and drag from the ruler out to the canvas to add a guide. All three of these can also be accessed from the view menu and have keyboard shortcuts associated with them. Use Command R to quickly turn rulers on and off. Guides can be relocated with a click and drag. To remove a guide, drag it off the edge of the canvas. Show the info bar and the cursor position, size of the current layer or object, color information, along with canvas size and resolution are displayed. Right-click to customize the information displayed here. Next over we have zoom controls. We can select a certain percentage or zoom to fit. The easier way to do this though is with keyboard shortcuts. Command plus to zoom in and command minus to zoom out. Use command zero to zoom to fit. When you're zoomed in on an image, hold down the spacebar to bring up this hand cursor, then click and drag to pan around the image. Use the Add button here to quickly add a new blank, text, or shape layer. It also gives us access to color adjustments and effects which otherwise can be found over in the Tools list. In these last three options, we can add a new layer from an image in Photos, by using the FaceTime camera, or by choosing a file from the Finder. In the center of the toolbar, the document name is displayed. If the word Edited is next to it, there are changes that have not yet been saved. So if I hit Command S to save, the word edited goes away. Click on the name and I can rename the file or move it to a new location. On the right side of the toolbar we have the crop and straighten controls. We'll talk more about this when we start going over tools. Next to that is an image settings button from which we can change the image or canvas size rotate the full image, trim or reveal canvas, view color information, and a file information panel. Next we have the standard Mac Share button. With this we can quickly share the current image via a variety of apps. There's also an export option here at the bottom. We can export to several different file types. Export and Share are also available from the File menu. 
use the shortcut Command E to export. Finally, in the far upper right is the Hide or Show Tools button. Click and the entire tool list and display is removed. Use the shortcut Command T to show and hide the tools. 